it takes a community to, to support regulation due to the Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act, the Endangered Species Act, after the river caught on fire, just spurred this whole movement. The, it was the birth of the environmental movement as we know it, and, and the president at the time, President Nixon, took a leadership on that. It was a bipartisan issue to come together to really protect our, our most you know important assets, and including our lake, and that's why that we've been able to turn around the Cuyahoga River as we have because of the legislation, because of the protection, because of people coming together to, to shift us from a burning river to a, a cleaner lake and a cleaner river. And I think it's because of those, those protections that, that helped. And, and what we have today is a dismantling of these protections from the very top. You know, you see all the iconic pictures of the wildlife ingesting or getting suffocated by plastic. We're losing our wildlife. We need to stand up when we see a problem and find ways to solve it. And we're joining the rest of the world. Over 400 jurisdictions throughout the country and the world have addressed plastic bags in particular and plastic pollution. So this is something that the world is taking seriously. And I think it's important that in Cuyahoga County that we also take it seriously. Well, we've offered plastic bags for a long time now, probably 30 plus years when they came into being. And the reality is, is why we are told that the economics um, shouldn't really concern us. Um, they do as a small business. Uh, plastic bag costs Heinen's about two cents. Paper bags cost about 10 plus cents. So we're increasing our bag costs if it's one for one, five times. The grocery business is a 1% margin business. And so if our costs go up by a few million dollars, that actually is more money than we earn in a given year. And so we have to offset it. And the way you offset rising prices is either become more efficient, pay people less, or charge more. Everything about plastic is connected to an exacerbating climate crisis. How plastic in Lake Erie is just creating such a toxic environment for the fish when we're, on the other hand, trying to clean up the lake. It's counterproductive and counterintuitive. Well, the back ban is legislation that will be effective countywide and it will impact retail outlets where they're prohibited from dispensing plastic bags at point of sale. We are on the lake, we're a county that sits on Lake Erie, and we, along with other cities, know that plastic bags are ubiquitous. We are learning more and more about the harm they're causing to the environment, and I think it's really important that Cuyahoga County step up and become part of the solution, rather than continuing to be a big part of the problem. But because we are stewards of the lake, I think it's more important that we do what we can to protect it from plastic pollution. You know, very few family-run businesses um, make it to the third generation, which my brother and I are, and let alone make it to 90 years. And so we, as lifelong Clevelanders, um, it's a great city to live in, lots of advantages. Uh, we made that investment in downtown Cleveland, and at the same time got to place it in an iconic building was really not a business decision, but was a decision of the heart. You know, we're encouraged by what's going on in Greater Cleveland, and, and so I, we hope that it continues to go the right direction. So in Cuyahoga County alone, we dispense out of retail about 320 million plastic bags per year. That's a lot of bags, and the plastic pollution in Lake Erie is the second most polluted lake in the Great Lakes. 
these bags will wind up either in landfills where they're going to sit for a thousand years potentially and leach toxins into the environment or they're going to wind up in our waterways um, traveling through the rivers through the streams into the lake through the seaway into the ocean where we know that the great pacific garbage patch is growing by leaps and bounds so by eliminating plastic bags in Cuyahoga County, we are going to reduce that pollution by 320 million bags per year. So when we hear it's only an incremental part of the problem, it's a huge part of the solution that we get rid of these bags and it's not okay to use something for an average of 12 minutes when we know that it's going to be around for a thousand years and that it's, it's a toxic product. We did support the ban uh, as it was proposed two years ago to charge for both paper and plastic and that made sense to us and we supported it. When they changed it to just banning plastic, it seemed to us as a poor legislative solution, whereas what you really want people to do is to use less bags. And so our efforts for the last well, really, for the last five, seven, eight years has been to encourage the use of reusable bags. What's the mantra? Reduce, reuse, use less. And, and so I think that's the answer. I, I think we take a lot of things for granted. There's plenty of people on every side of that issue. Um, there's plenty of people who would say reusable bags, which we have been promoting. Are, are more environmentally impactful than, than plastic or paper. Businesses are changing to not only accommodate what the customers want, but also they understand that they also have a responsibility as a, as a business to be part of the solution. I would say to businesses that they've created and have been a part of the problem that we're in right now and that it would behoove them to change with the tide of the new generations who want to see businesses who have some responsibility to the environment and that they could step up and start to be better stewards of the environment and the communities in which they serve to step up and make sure that they're not contributing anymore to the problem that's already going to be here with us for, for hundreds of years. Um, when it hits Lake Erie, the plastic reduces into microplastics and those microplastics cannot be removed from the lake. We are our environment and our environment is us and this is going to impact us forever and instead you have business owners, local business owners and certain people who voted against the ban trying to rationalize perhaps why change is not necessary. In my mind, we can't say we're going to do nothing because we can't do everything. Well, I think most people would agree that plastic bags are a very small percentage of the plastic stream. You're going after a very small piece of, of the problem. And the argument is you have to start somewhere. And we understand that argument. We don't necessarily disagree. But the reality is, is that Plastic has become ubiquitous in our society today because it is so efficient and effective at what it does and it's inexpensive. If people really would look and go through a day and see how many different <laughs> ways they touch plastic from brushing your teeth in the morning to everything else you do that day, they, they would see that plastic is part of our world today. And so what we believe the solution is number one, a lot of recycling doesn't happen because it has to change human behavior. People can change their behaviors to allow recycling to happen in an efficient way possible. And then secondly, if businesses can create the market for recycled plastics, I'm a believer that when there's a market for things, people will find ways to make it work, and they already are. Starting at at home by trying to use less plastic, admirable goal, trying to behave better by how we recycle materials, 
the right thing to do, and I think the right thing to do is for businesses to try and create that market for recycled materials by using products in their supplies that use recycled plastic. But we better um, step up now because we're in danger of going backwards. You know, it's, it's, it's not a zero-sum game where we say we have to protect the environment at the cost of business. It's so backward thinking because every other country, at least, you know, progressive countries understand that that's the future and we're lagging so behind that now, it's unfortunate. Thank you.